I feel like there's a lot of things we can talk about, but in the third period, at least from Don and I's view, like so many block shots, guys selling out for the team. Uh, I mean, how many did you think there were out there? Yeah, it's hard to say. I'd like to not spend as much time in the D zone as we did. Um, we, we struggled to break the puck out efficiently tonight, so we had to we had to defend hard. And, you know, there's a lot of ways to win a hockey game. And, and uh, some nights with us, you know, it's fast and high flying and great offense. And, and, but as the seasons went on, we've been more able to win these type of games. Great block shots. Um, obviously, a very good effort uh, by Devin Levi and that. Uh, the fact that you're able to win different ways every night, I mean, that's, that's a hell of an attribute to have, right, going into playoff time? Well, you have to be able to. Um, you, you certainly aren't going to outscore your problems in the playoffs. You might on a game here or there, but you're going to have to defend. You're going to have to penalty kill. You've got to eat pucks. Um, you know, and as I said before many times, you know, that's – that's when you start becoming a team that plays for each other. Like I believe it, it, it with all my heart. Like blocking shots is contagious because it's the worst thing to do in hockey. Nobody wants to do it, and it's the most selfless thing to do. And the more guys that do it, it almost becomes a badge of honor. Then the, the, the next guy over the wall, he kind of feels obligated to do it. Well, if this guy's blocking a shot for me, I got to block a shot for him. And it, it, it becomes contagious. And we've just, in the second half, we've had a lot more willingness to do that. Uh, what about uh, the shorthanded goal? Uh, Isak uh, Rosé. I mean, Byro gets the goal, but can you talk about the hustle from Rosie to get there? Yeah, good play by Byro to put Rosie out to space. And then, you know, um, Rosie out battled some of the best players in our division and some older, stronger men. Um, for that puck, to have the poise, then to slip that into Beersy, um, that was a big goal. It was a really big goal. Uh, you talk about the bigger guys, really physical game out there. Um, how do you feel your team matched up with that? Yeah, I mean, we're fine with that. Um, we aren't a team that's built to go bully people or push people around, but we've become a team that won't back down. And, and that's all we need to be. And that, we've, we got to that spot the last two years as well. Uh, it takes time to get to that spot. Um, we, we just talk about having team toughness, and team toughness means that you're not alone. You always got guys out there with you, and if one goes, all go, and, and guys are going to have each other's back. You know, you mentioned the pressure that this team has had to play with over the past couple of weeks, months even. Uh, just the fact that you were able to get through that today, shut down a Toronto team to just one goal, what does that say about your guys as you reach the you know, playoff hockey zone? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, we've been very resilient. And in our minds, we've been playing playoff hockey for, like, I think this is 27 games now because we started during that 7-11 and 11 that we had. Um, and, and it'll ramp again at actual playoff time, but, but it's been on. Um, and, and everybody in the North Division is that way because the standings are so tight. And so um, our guys have been in that mode, uh, playing that way, and – and so we've been comfortable, we're getting more comfortable playing in lower scoring, close games. They're probably going to go to Tyrus and Devin. 52 saves one night, 40 to 9 max, or 42, 32 tonight, whatever it was, 34. Any other number? I, I, I don't, I, yeah, I guess I don't look at that stuff. I mean, it's, I take each game as a game. Um, I think momentum, as I've said before, only carries over how well you prepare during the week for the next game, you know. Um, and, and Devin's been very good um, against them for sure. Um, but, but again, let's just look at tonight. I think he did a really good job in the first period. I thought we had a really good start. Then that, the penalty kind of gave them a lot of momentum. Um, and, and then we kind of sputtered a little bit for most of the rest of that period. And then obviously uh, Kisikoff, Roseanne, and Kulik made a big play to, to give us a lead heading into the second, which was big. And I mean, he makes the save after the giveaway, even your own end. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thought our D were not, I, I thought our D defended their tails off tonight. I thought our defensemen's puck decisions and breakouts tonight were not as good as we'd want. Um, and, you know, you got to give your opponent credit on that. They're a good four-checking team. they got good sticks, good speed. Um, but 
we were a little sloppy with our puck movement on the breakout, which led to some problems. And who would want to leave enough going into playoffs? Yeah, that second goal was a really nice finish. I mean, uh, but but and it was the play just kind of let the puck go off. Well, the play by Davies uh, to play it behind him and lay it out the space because it was the only. It was late in the shift. It's the second period. It's late in the second period. It was the only way to get him that puck with limited risk. Um, if Davies tried to pass directly to him, it would have had to go through defenseman sticks. Uh, and I, it was a, I mean, the finish by Kulik was exceptional. Uh, the pass by Davies probably was better. Just to, to have the presence of mind um, to make that indirect to him um, and, and to take all the risk out of the play. Worst case scenario, it was going to be deep below the goal line. Best case scenario, you're sending him for a breakaway. Yeah, well, we avoid that short series now with this win. Um, you know, so that, that's, that's important. Now, we haven't once talked about it until I congratulated them on earning that tonight. Uh, a lot of them didn't know. Um, but we've been, they, this group has done a really good job. I think as a staff, we've done a good job on keeping our focus on today. Um, just worrying about today. If it's a practice day, let's be great in practice. If it's a lift day, let's lift. And, and let's have a great lift and the right attitude about it. And if it's a game day, let's play like it's playoff hockey and, and treat it with the urgency it requires. And so uh, it's been like 26, 27 games like that um, where we've been trying to not worry about standings, not worry about out-of-town scoreboard, worry about ourselves, and trying to build towards being a playoff team. Um, and, and that'll stay the same for us here in the next two games. That's easier said than done, uh, I imagine. Uh, how does a team collectively do you avoid that temptation to, to let your attention focus or drift off for the standings, for the other touch scoreboard, those sort of things, and, and the director just, you know, we're not going to do it? Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, we're not naive. I know our players have looked, but I even listened to our players' interviews and you know, after games and stuff, and they, they continually just talk about today and next game. And um, it's something I believe in and preach all the time, but it's also something that our captains believe in. So I think that when you're a young player, and we got a lot of young players, right? And so when you're a young player and you look up within your organization towards your veterans, your captains, and your coaching staff, if you're hearing a consistent message from everybody, coaches, assistant coaches, you know, uh, captains, et cetera, it's a lot easier to be on the same page with that, to buy into that, and to think that way. If, if I'm saying one thing and my assistants are saying something else or the captains are saying something else, then that gives any player the freedom to look at things how they want to look at them. And I'm just really fortunate that I've got a great staff and I've got a great group of captains that I trust implicitly.